So, Cherry Blossom family, we got a legislative update. So, um, I know like Monday, they made a, the state made a decision to get rid of not just Delta 8, but full spectrum CBD. They said they were taking a vote again on Wednesday, I believe, or Thursday, maybe it was Thursday. Um, and we thought we'd get a year to kind of stay in business and do our thing, but no year. There's no year. Uh, they decided to kind of push forward, but I don't know. It's like, this is such a, what do you call it? Like a seesaw, uh, like almost like a legislative seesaw. It's an emotional seesaw because one day you think you're in business, they say you're not. Um, so I think what they decided is that maybe full spectrum CBD can stay, which is really what we are. We're a full spectrum CBD company. Like it really took us a long time to get convinced. Like you talked to me in summertime, I would not have told you anything about Delta 8 or anything like that. But, you know, since then I have seen the value, but we're a full spectrum CBD company. So we may get the chance to stay alive, which is good. That's a good thing. Uh, or we may have to move to another state. So, um, but we are going to start pushing out some really quality quality uh live resin cbd products uh and if you are in a state that can take delta a you can get those in delta eight as well so those are happening um that's what we're trying to do to stay alive not necessarily and, we, and you know like i said if we can find a good spot in dc or north carolina or someplace like that where we can retail we might hop up in retail and do that you know who knows but um it's just kind of keeping you posted you know hemping ain't easy this is not an easy business to be in. And literally, we're under attack from both the dispensaries and Big Pharma. Big Pharma wants CBD, and dispensaries want us out of their way. Um, so that's kind of what's happening. You know, it's an industry without walls. It really doesn't support us not too much. You know, it's getting better. But so, you know, we got to make some decisions. And uh, we'd, I'd like, you know, I, I apologize because I haven't really been as active on here. It's been such a focus. My focus has been so, so much on the legislative issues that I really haven't cared as much to make these videos. And I shouldn't even say it that way because I do care to make these videos. I want to keep doing them. I want to keep this, this growing. I want to keep bringing out, you know, bringing people quality information, true information, like real information, like facts, you know? Um, but I don't know. I, I, we're just trying to figure it all out. I'm not saying this is all going to end. That's not where this is going. We're just trying to figure out how, what it looks like, you know, a year or two years, three years from now. So that's it. That's kind of what's been going on. I think things are going to get back to normal with the videos next week. You know, I'm trying to get come up with some really good content, you know, just kind of take a step aside and, and get my head together, you know, get our heads together, I should say. And come on back, you know. So thank you for all of you who supported us. Thank you for who stood by us, who have donated to the cause, you know, the legislative cause, uh, who may have called it any congressman uh, or senator. So thank you for that. Uh, and we'll see you next week. So always like, subscribe, share, and comment. We love you.